Traveling along the famed Merritt Parkway, one sees Connecticut at its best. The parkway traverses a countryside of beautiful scenic vistas, clad in a velvet... Few states are richer in historical lore than Connecticut. In the quiet neatness of its many small communities, each with its village green and spired church, there lingers the spirit and charm of colonial New England. Connecticut has been an influential force in the development of America. Her sons have played a conspicuous part in America's story. Deserving of everlasting fame is Nathan Hale, a young captain in the Revolutionary Army who, when captured and sentenced to death by the British, uttered the memorable words, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. Near Goshen is the site of the birthplace of John Brown, a fiery abolitionist whose violent hatred of slavery helped precipitate the war between the states. At Litchfield is the Beecher homestead, where were born the Reverend Henry Ward Beecher, famous minister of his day, and his equally famous sister, Harriet Beecher Stowe, who wrote the unforgettable Uncle Tom's Cabin. From colonial times, Connecticut has been predominantly a manufacturing state. Hundreds of factories, large and small, are crowded within her borders. Her people are proud of their tradition of fine craftsmanship. Almost three-fourths of Connecticut's population depend for their livelihood upon her more than 300 different industries. Connecticut's cotton, wool, and silk mills produce a tremendous share of the nation's textiles. Hartford, Connecticut's largest city, is often called the insurance capital of the world. For here are to be found the home offices of many of the nation's leading insurance companies. In addition to being intensely industrial and Connecticut's largest city, Hartford is also the state capital. The beautiful Capitol building overlooking the city from the crest of Capitol Hill is topped with a winged figure symbolizing the genius of Connecticut. Second largest city in Connecticut is New Haven. Many of the nation's rifles, clocks, and toys, and much of its hardware bear New Haven trademarks. But New Haven is perhaps best known as a cultural center, the home of Yale University. Founded in 1701, Yale is one of the oldest and most distinguished universities in the country. Connecticut has long been a pioneer in the development of public education. The University of Connecticut at Storrs stands at the pinnacle of the state's educational system. New London, at the mouth of the Thames River, has one of the deepest harbors on the Atlantic coast. Just across the river from New London, at Groton, is the nation's submarine building center. Probably more submarines are built here than anywhere else in the world. Although not predominantly an agricultural state, Connecticut is nevertheless a region of many small farms of intensive and diversified cultivation. The leading source of farm income in the state is dairy. The contrast of white houses, red barns, and tall silos against a background of pastures dotted with Holstein or Guernsey cattle charms the visitor and attests to the importance of dairying in the state's economy. In the valley of the Connecticut River, shade-grown tobacco is an outstanding crop. Some of the world's best wrapper leaf is grown here, and Connecticut shade-grown tobacco 
is said to command the highest price per acre of any crop grown in the United States. Yet for all this seemingly intense agricultural and industrial activity, Connecticut remains a region of great natural beauty and unspoiled rural charm. Inviting inns dot her countryside, and rustic eating places border her fine highways. Connecticut has numerous summer stock theaters. Many an old barn has been converted into a show place where professional and amateur tread the board together. Recreation in Connecticut is varied and inviting. Ocean Beach is but one of Connecticut's many fine bathing beaches, while the broad blue water of Long Island Sound offers unparalleled thrills to delight the most demanding of yachtsmen. Now that we've had a glimpse of Connecticut, let's review what we've learned about the state. We've learned that Connecticut, the nutmeg state, was one of the 13 original colonies. And next to Rhode Island and Delaware, it is the smallest state in the Union. We've been reminded that Connecticut claims such famous figures as John Brown, Harriet Beecher Stowe, and Nathan Hale, who uttered the memorable words, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. We visited Hartford, the capital and largest city of the state, often referred to as the insurance capital of the world. We visited New Haven, Connecticut's second largest city, and the home of Yale University. We've seen the University of Connecticut at Stores, a major center of research and agricultural experimentation We've learned that Connecticut is predominantly an industrial state. We've seen the importance of dairying in the state's economy. We've learned that Connecticut shade-grown tobacco is said to enjoy the highest price per acre of any crop grown in the United States. And we've been treated to some of the beauty and charm of Connecticut's typically New England countryside. Intensely industrial, yet peaceful and charmingly rural, Connecticut is one of the most interesting, one of the most progressive and important states in this land of ours. <laughs>